So this morning we're just out for a morning walk. It's uh, Monday morning. I did CrossFit this morning, but it was kind of a light workout. So just doing a little morning walk here as we continue to recover from that half marathon on uh, Saturday. This morning, Jay and I are going to do um, a nice, easy super loop. It's just under five miles, and we're focusing mostly on keeping our heart rate. For me, it's under 160. For Jay, it's probably 155. But with our new running style, we're... Um, fast so we got to kind of figure out how to slow ourselves down and keep within um, the heart rate that we want okay so this morning I'm gonna make our recovery shake and we always have one of these right after any long workout like the run that we just did this morning which was about five miles so you want to have something in your system about 30 to 60 minutes after a strenuous workout to help you recover and this is just what we make in the morning after a strenuous workout. So the first ingredient here is jicama. So you just estimated amount, um, maybe about half a cup of chopped up jicama. We use a little bit of MCT oil in there. Now we also use fresh turmeric. If you can get fresh turmeric, go ahead and use that. If not, use a teaspoon of powdered turmeric. Also we're using fresh ginger. And if you can get fresh ginger, that's definitely preferred over the powder. But again, one teaspoon of powdered ginger will work instead. And we are going to use half a cup of almond milk. This is the unsweetened almond milk. So you want the almond milk with the least amount of sugar you can. Half a cup of almond milk. Then we use half a cup of coconut milk. And also a half cup of coconut water. And we don't use any ice in this shake. So we use the coconut milk water and the almond milk for the creaminess and the fluid of the shakes. So we've got those. Now we're also going to put in two tablespoons of hemp hearts. There we go. Two tablespoons of that. shelled hemp seeds. We have Hawaiian spirulina. We're going to go ahead and do one teaspoon of that. And then we're going to put our fruit in. And this is basically the source of the sugar for this shake. Let's put in a handful of strawberries. Now this is a Nutribullet have here. I'm going to go ahead and just throw in the rest of these since they're almost out. So those are frozen organic strawberries. And then what we do is we buy bananas in bulk and then we chop them up and put them in the freezer. We get the bananas all nice and frozen. So you can put in uh, several segments of frozen banana. The bananas and the strawberries basically what we use instead of the ice. Okay, so we have all that. And then last but not least, we're going to try to get in some spinach into this concoction. This is just fresh spinach, so we're going to use just a handful there. Pack it in. Then. There, get out of the neutral bullet. So we get basically halfway bound it up there. Give it a nice another shake.
There we go. And then when all said and done, nice, creamy, delicious recovery shake. It is Wednesday morning. We just finished a really good CrossFit workout, all upper body. So we decided to work on that a little more and go stand up paddle boarding. Plus it's a beautiful morning, light winds. The winds are supposed to pick up later this week. So it's why I take full advantage of this. But personally for me, I have balance issues. So I do a stand up pedal board. It's a little pedal, and I have handlebars to hold on to. We haven't been on these in a little while. Uh, it's good work for prepping for swimming because it uses a lot of the lat, a lot of the arm, a lot of the core muscles. So we're able to get out here and get a good cardio workout without putting too much uh, pounding and pressure on our knees and joints from the running that we've been doing.